Hello all, and I'm so sorry I'm late. I've been lying down because my foot's stinging again. Oh, I'm sure you don't want to hear it again. So I'm just waiting for you all to join me while I put some magic cream on. I've put my sunscreen on already and it's tinted. So I'm... Hello, Helena. Hello. I've been lying down being lazy all morning. Hello, Shailish. Hello. Shailish is family. Hello, Shailish. So, I'm just putting my magic cream on. Hello, Linda. I found another pot of magic cream. It is the best. It has to be said. Do you know what? I tried to source the ingredients to make my own magic cream. And it would have cost more. So there you are. Now I'm going to put on some brightening youth glow. Because I'm feeling a bit like I need brightening up. Although that tinted sunscreen is very good. I am loving that tinted sunscreen. Um, I've, I've stopped using the one that I... You know the one that I got that, as a primer? Because if you use moisturiser beforehand and don't let it sink in, it starts to peel. And I saw a video with um, Nadine Baggett using a similar sunscreen saying that is the problem with it. It's great if you want a no makeup look, but um, they do start to peel. So anyway, so I've got gone on to, I've lost the tube already, but here's the box, Ultra Sun Face, um, tinted, factor 50, very, very good. And I'm just going to put some brightening youth glow on. I don't know if this is going to work over tinted sunscreen. But we'll soon find out. In for a penny, in for a pound. Now, my bus is going to go any minute now with my Charlotte Tilbury order. Because I've ordered... Hello, Pamela. I've ordered the new lipsticks. Hot lips too. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get the video out today. Because I've got to go for my mammogram later on. Message to all ladies in memory of my darling mum. Make sure you go for your mammogram. My mum was very good, but um, it's a long story. She didn't have a mammogram and it wasn't because she didn't ask for one. She went and asked for one and the doctor said she was too old to actually have the genetic form of breast cancer. And he didn't do it and she did have it. So, um, I've promised my mum that I would talk about it, um, and I am to spread the word. She said, just tell all your friends to go for their mammogram. Mine's this afternoon. I've been having them since I was 39. Yeah, knock, knock, who's at the door? I've been having mine since I was 39, um, because I've had, I won't share all their details but my mum and two other close first degree first and second degree family relatives so I'm seen as high risk which is okay I get my mammograms every year and I'm going to the best place in London for cancer and cancer detection Bart's Hospital so which is just round the corner from me at the moment right i just put some uh, of this on this is la roche posay but it's not tolerian um it's the anti-pigmentation one which i've been trying which is good as well they're all quite um good for sensitive eyes anyway right so there's my base done so i'm going to put on magic foundation today but what i'm going to do is something I did yesterday and also I've got this I haven't tried this brush yet look at this I got it from Amazon and I just like the shape of it I like the look of it it was eight pound and it's a foundation brush 
so you're going to see it as it is. But what I'm going to do is something I did yesterday. Now, if the bell goes or the buzzer, I'm just going to cover the screen because, as you know, I don't like to see myself walking on video. It's not that I mind you seeing me. I just don't like looking back at it. So I'm just explaining that. And especially at the moment, it would upset me. I can deal with everything else, but I just don't want to see myself walking. Um, now, I'm going to put on... If I can get the lid off this magic foundation now, I've got all that cream on my hands. Do something about the design. Um, I'm going to do what I did yesterday. So I'm going to put my concealer on first. And I remembered another tip from years ago. And I thought, I'm going to try that. And it's really good in the summer. And it was Pamela actually inspired me. Hello, John. Pamela was saying, do you need high coverage because you've got lovely skin? Thank you, Pamela. I took that in. And it's only because I want to cover up the pigmentation. But I was thinking, do you know the amount of times I use high coverage foundation just to cover this up? When actually I'm okay here and here. And a lot of my face... I've just got that bit and I've got these bits. So what I did yesterday, and I liked it, is I just put my concealer on first. And I blended that in first. And then I put a lower coverage foundation. Now I'm going to put magic on today. I put on um, Light Wonder yesterday, which is a lighter coverage. But I'm going to put this on just because I want to test out this brush. And see how good it is at blending it in but this is good because then you don't use as much foundation otherwise you're putting your foundation on then you're putting your concealer on the top which is a lot but this is a good way i'm just looking for my other one that matches my skin tone which i've already taken the lid off to put some there and a bit round my nose And a lot of people are doing this now. They're just using concealer. And uh, nothing else. Now that lid's not even going back on. Why is that lid not going back on? Probably because there's all of that caught in the lid. Only thing I don't like about Magic Away... Yeah, it doesn't want to go back on that lid. Oh, there you go. I'll never get that off now. Yeah, it's good. Because you don't then need as much foundation. Because you've covered the bits you want to cover. And nothing else. And I'm just going to blend this bit in with my fingers. So I'll put a little bit of foundation on, but I won't need a lot now. Only because I want to test that brush. Otherwise, I might just leave it at that. But obviously, the, the concealer under my eyes is lighter than my skin tone and down my nose. So I need to probably blend it in anyway with a bit of my colour. Otherwise, I'm going to look a bit odd. <laughs> So that's what you do, is it, Pamela? Right, so I'm going to take a little bit of magic now, but not too much. And this is in shade 6.75. And I'm just going to dot a little bit. And down on my neck. Tiny dots. Again, I probably wouldn't have bothered with magic. I'd have probably done um, Light Wonder. But I just want to test out this brush. See what it's like. Ooh, very good. It's good because you can blend it like that. Or you can... See, see where I've got my pigmentation? Let me just do a bit of that. There. And there. You can press it in. That is a very good brush. Obviously, I'm going to be using it over the next 
few days and I'll give you my verdict. But if anybody wants the link, just let me know and I'll put it on the Hangout or I'll reply to you with the link. It looks so expensive and it feels really good quality. £8 on Amazon. You do it that way as well. There you go. I'm get I feel it. why do I look so red around my nose at the moment? I look so red around my nose. Well, you see a lot of people doing foundation first, but you don't have to. There's no rules. And actually, I just remembered that bit of advice from... I can't remember where it was, but it was about doing summer makeup. And I'm sure it was when I was doing my makeup classes. But then it might not have been because with stage makeup... You basically have to do full coverage, full coverage, so might not be. So I've used half the amount of foundation I would normally use by doing that. And then I can blend out the edges with this brush just to see what it's like. I like this. It feels really soft. Look how densely packed those, those hairs are. You see that? I think that's a really, really good brush. I do sometimes think that you don't always get what you pay for in brushes and that there's some really good brushes out there that are affordable. Again, I think maybe they share factories and whatever. To me, that looks a little bit... I'm not saying it is, because I haven't tried it, but it it looks a little bit like the Wayne Goss brushes, doesn't it? The black handles. Oh, it says my driver is 30 minutes away. So you never know. You might just catch a glimpse of Charlotte Tilbury's new lipsticks. Now, I want to... I'm not going to do any powder yet. And what I'm going to do today, I thought... I'm going to keep it simple. I thought I'd use one of my cream eyeshadows from Charlotte Tilbury. Um, do you want to pick one for me? Because you know I've got them all. Here you go. You can pick a colour to put on my eyes. Bearing in mind I'm wearing navy girls, okay? Because otherwise I know which one you're going to pick. I'm not daft. That isn't a nice to mesmerise. <clears throat> Neither is that one. I know what they are. They're a cat's eyes to hypnotise. Or whatever they're called. Oh, so maybe that one is. No, that's a huntress and midnight seduction. What's this one? No, that one is. Okay, I'm going to show you them all and you can pick me a colour. Right, we have a bit of fun. Sexy Sienna, that's a lipstick. You like, right, so this one is Bet. I'm often asked, actually, by people to show them on Instagram, on DMs. I've been asked quite a few times to show people the eyes to mesmerise. So that one's Bet. It's a nice gold one. This one's Jean, which I like to use a lot for highlighting. This is the lightest one. You can get to see them all. Then we have Marie Antoinette, 
which is nice. It's not used enough, I don't think, Marie Antoinette. I liken that very much to um, Dark Pearl. It's got a grey, it's sort of, it's got a grey undertone to it, but it does suit brown eyes. Then we have Mona Lisa. Now, remind me to wash off these swatches before I go to my mammogram. There's Mona Lisa. <laughs> now, I said my um, eyes to mesmerise. You can pick an eyes to mesmerise. The lipsticks are coming soon. So, I'm hoping if I delay long enough, I can put one of the new lipsticks on and tantalise you all for my review. Then we've got rose gold, which you you know about. Rose gold. Then we have. But I do I agree with you, Linda. Sexy Sienna's a very nice lipstick. Star gold. And then find it. Oh, actually, there should be two more. I'll see if I can find the other one. One's got away. See, I know my products. Star Gold. Then, one you've probably not seen much of before. She doesn't use it on a lot of her tutorials <clears throat> Varushka Varushka and there's one I'm missing can anyone can any does anyone know their products well enough to know which one I'm missing I'll give you a clue um I could use two if you wanted me to don't mind your wish is my command there's Varushka, which is green, as you can see. But I have one more. Let me see if I can find it. It should be in that box. Does anyone know the missing one? I'll give you a clue. It's a bolder one. It's not, it's not like these browns and stuff. It's bold. And I don't know why it's missing. But it is missing. That's weird. I'll have to look for that later on. I don't understand why that would be missing. The one I'm missing is Cleopatra, which is turquoise. <laughs> so, Jean, Bet, Marie Antoinette, Mona Lisa. Rose gold, star gold, and Varushka. It ran away. <laughs> yeah, it did. <laughs> no, it's... Oh. Sometimes, you know, when you're in a hurry, you put things back in the wrong place. Jean and rose gold. Okay. Jean and rose gold. So that one and that one. Yeah. Everyone happy with that? Let me just give these a bit of a wipe. I will do that then. I might even get away with three, but we'll see. That might be pushing it. Right, Jean and Rose Gold. There's Jean. And we want Rose Gold, which is in... Ah! I did have it here. Sorry, I've got to show you this now. I did have it here. Cleopatra. Look at that. Pretty. 
you can't see it much here, but as you turn, it sort of has a peacock kind of look to it. <laughs> Cleopatra coming at you. Can't see. Can you see what I mean? It's like a peacock turning their feathers. It's kind of got almost a duochrome to it. Yeah, I don't know why I just hadn't taken it out of the box. It was sitting in front of me. <laughs> so that's all the eyes to mesmerise. I have them all. Right, rose gold. Rose gold is in a box. That's right. Been there. Okay, so I'm just going to just make sure my fingers are clean after all that swatching. By the way, that's why my nails often look like they need a good clean. It's not because I don't clean them. I'm always cleaning them. It's because I'm always swatching things and I get stuff under my nails. <clears throat> right. I'm just going to put this on with my fingers. And I might just use a buffing brush. Deluxe crease brush to blend it in. Oh. Now listen, I hope... I'm sorry about this, but hopefully today it's going to let me save it. When it lets me save it at the end, it saves it in my camera roll and you don't get any of the Wi-Fi disturbance. So hopefully, I'm not going to upload it this week if it doesn't do that. Because nobody wants to watch 50 minutes of pixelated screen. Um, but hopefully it will let me do it. So I'll let you all know whether it's let me do it this week. Last week, for some reason, my settings had changed. And it, oh, it was so annoying because obviously Daniel was on last week. And um, I'm just going to use a buffing brush by Real Techniques. It's a deluxe crease brush just to blend it out at the top. Like that. Um, it was just so annoying because Daniel was on last week. And I really wanted to save that in good quality. And it just wouldn't let me save it. It may have been because he joined me live and it doesn't let you save somebody else on video if it if it really is glitching then catch me later when i download the uh it onto youtube when i hopefully download it i'm just putting a tiny bit under my eyes And then I'm going to use Jean. And with Jean, I'm just going to take my pinky. My little pinky. And I'm going to put some in here. I saw, did anyone see Pixie Woo doing her naturally glowy look the other day? Really good little tip she threw in which was to use a pencil on this area and then put on the light shade, which is really clever because if your eyes, like me, water, then that, that shadow's not going to come off because it's been... If you put pencil under an eyeshadow, it won't, it'll help it to stay on. And she put a pencil on in this inner corner and then she put the shadow over the top. So I'm just going to use it as a highlighter. Now what I can do, just to accentuate the crease, instead of going to eyeshadow, is when I do my bronzer, I can just put a bit of bronzer into the crease, into the socket.
Okay, I'm going to use... Um, is everybody else glitching as well? See, I could switch over to cellular, but I think if I do that, it's going to stop. If it's really bad, let me know and I'll switch. Tell me to switch over to cellular. Someone, if it's really bad, let me know now and I'll switch over to. You're fine. Okay. We'll keep going then. Brilliant. Well, sorry, Linda, but hopefully later on we can. Um, now I'm going to get. I'm going to get one of the. Um, palettes, the Glowgasm palettes. Which one do you want me to use? Lightgasm? I think Lightgasm, actually. I'm going to decide. You're now rebooted. Great. I'm going to get Lightgasm because it's lovely and glowy for the day. And I've actually used Lightgasm more than the, uh, the, the Dreamgasm, the darker one. Hello, Earthy Souls. So I'll get that. Right, I think Lightgasm would go better with this. Here we go, Lightgasm. And I might use my um, my beauty ones as well. Pink. I'll I'll mix I'll mix pink and peach to make my rose goldgasm. Did everyone see that video where I made a rose goldgasm? I know I haven't done mascara or anything yet, but I'll do that in a minute. Because, you know, it's just so boring watching me putting on eyeliner and mascara. So, Lightgasm. I'm going to use my Lightgasm palette. With loads of fingerprints on it. <laughs> and there we are. Pixie Woo is using this as well. Sam. So I'm going to put some of that on my face. Get my brushes. Wrong bag. Right, I'm going to put some blush on. I'm going to do everything the wrong way around. I'm going to mix the two blushes of Glowgasm. No. What's no? See, I forget what I've just said. My short-term memory's terrible. And Pamela's saying no to something. And I can't remember what I asked. Oh, not pouring. <laughs> All right, I'll come back and do my eyes. So I just mixed the two blushes from Lightgasm. And as you can see, I've got dark skin. It shows up perfectly on my skin. I think it got a bit of a bad press because they, they didn't swatch very well compared to the darker palette. But I love that. I absolutely love, and I love this cheek blush, the pot one. Then I'm going to get a highlighter brush or a, uh, yeah, a smaller brush if I can find it. There you are, my sculpt brush, and use. The highlighter shade. So maybe I don't need to use the light ones. I know I haven't powdered yet, but I will. Now what I'll do is just squeeze this smaller brush together 
and take the bronze shade. I know I haven't bronzed yet. And just do this. The only thing is, look, it's starting to... It's starting to crease. Right. Just put the bronze shade in the socket like that. Just enough to define my eyes a little bit more. Because it's a matte bronzer, so it works quite well in the socket. Right, that's my parcel. Hold on, girls. Thank you. Have a good day. Ta-da! Shall I carry on with this look or do you want to see the new Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks? Hmm, I wonder. Would you like to see a sneaky preview? You do, don't you? You do. Shall I model them? Do you know what? My foot has been really stinging all morning. But the thought of not making it to the buzzer. <laughs> right, it didn't matter how painful my foot was. I moved like the clappers. When I say like the clappers, for me, it's like I wasn't going to miss that delivery guy. <laughs> Don't you just love Charlotte Tilbury boxes when they arrive? I will do a first impression video later on. Um, so, look. Look at that. And another Charlotte Tilbury box. They're going to come in quite handy when I move. I don't mean this box, I mean this box. I keep a lot of my makeup in these boxes, a lot of my Charlotte Tilbury anyway. Here we go. And they're magnetic now, they used to be, the lid came off, but now they're Magnetic and they open one side, which is even better. Oop, first impression. I'm teasing you. And then it'll say, I'm sorry, but you've run out of time. Ooh. So I got four of the full sizes. No, five. And one refill. And I had to get, I say I had to, like, you know, it was the end of the world. But I really needed another pink Venus lip liner because my one had dried out and it was nearly finished. And I love pink Venus. So I'm, I managed to get every single case to do my review. And I had a birthday voucher, by the way, which is why I could afford to get them. So, um, hello. So look, you can see which cases are in which. So I've got one of each case and a refill because I wanted to see how the refills worked. 
So that's the refill. Right. I'll just pick one at random. Let's pick this one. This one is called Glowing Gen. Hmm. Oh! Hang on. These open slightly differently, I think. Oh, I see. I think. This is weird. They haven't got the cap that you just open the top. Oh, I, I think I know what you do. Yes. You pull it out that way. They've got like a seal on the box, which is a good idea. They haven't done that before. There's a seal on the box and then you push it like that. And that way they know that you've opened it. That's clever because they've not done that before. So this is Glowing Gen. Look at that case. And... This is the one my sister's interested in as well. Do you want me to try this one on? I probably don't have time for all of them right now because I also, I want you to come back and look at my first impression. Oh, that's nice. Now this reminds me of two lipsticks it reminds me of <laughs> exactly oh yeah this reminds me a little bit of supermodel and also a little bit of american sweetheart and that's why my sister is interested in it because my sister loves American Sweetheart and we can't get it anymore. The case is gorgeous. Now, I wonder how, you, how you're supposed to refill them. That's interesting. I wonder how they work. I'm going to have to have a play and work out how they work. Because you're supposed to be able to put any one in any case. So I'll have to look. I don't want to break them. But this is what the refills look like. So I've got the refill in JK Magic. Do you want to see the cases? You Okay, you too pale for you. Let me give you a darker one. Let me show you Patsy Red. No, they're not mattes. They're kissing formulas. I think they're all kissing formulas. Let me show you Amazing Amal. And I'm start, going to start laughing now because for those of you that are on my Hangout, you know why. But I will let you all in on it. Yesterday I was typing saying Amazing Amal looks really good. And it did spell correct. And it said Amazing Anal looks really good. So now I'm going to nickname it Amazing Anal. Here is Amazing Anal. Sorry, Amal Clooney. I shouldn't call it Anal. And this is the case for Amazing Amal. They're pretty cases. I've just got to work out how you refill them. Oh, yes. Look, there you go. That's why I picked this one. Linda, for you. They feel very creamy. Now, this feels like a kissing formula, and yet it's got the Matte Revolution bullet. Let me check the bullet on the other one. 
That feels very creamy. Oh, they've all got the same bullet, but they are kissing formulas. Which look better on older lips. So that's those two. Do you want to see the cases? I'm not going to swatch them all because you've got to come back and watch my video later on. I'm mean, aren't I? This is Patsy Red. Now, you see, you know I'm always making predictions. When Charlotte renamed her Dolce Vita palette, Sophia and... Um, oh, what's it called? The something Sophia. I've forgotten her daughter's... Her other niece's name. The something Sophia. What's her other daughter called? Uh, her other niece called? It's going to come to me in a minute. But you know who I mean. She renamed it the something Sophia. Um, and it's because I don't message the other niece that I've forgotten her name. Bella. That's right. The Bella Sophia. When she renamed it, I, st I posted the Bella Sophia and I put Charlotte Tilbury... Why didn't you rename Penelope Pink, which is part of the Dolce Vita look, Patsy Pink? And I know why now. Because she's got Patsy Red. This is Patsy Red. And I'm always doing things like that. And yet I never win competitions to name things. There's Patsy Red. I'll show you one more. Not on my lips. There's Patsy Red. Ooh. That's a nice bright red. Okay, I'll put it on my lips. I love these cases. They feel very heavy. And these feel incredibly creamy. I feel like they need a bit of rubbing in to get the pigment. But that might just be because it's new. And everyone's self-conscious at the moment of not ma making sure that their lipsticks don't melt in the post. And I won't name names, but if you've been on YouTube, you know what I'm talking about. Yes, I just they just arrived as I was doing the video. So this is Patsy Red. And that's the case. I managed to get one of each case because I wanted to show you. So that is Patsy Red in the that case. I'm not going to show you the other lipsticks because I want you all to come back and see my first impression. So that's Patsy Red. I know I'm being mean. But I've shown you three. That's Patsy Red. This one is Amazing Amal. And that's the case. Then Glowing Jen. <laughs> Glowing Jen. Then I got one um, refill, and I do want to work out how these work. This is JK Magic. And then this one is called Angel Alexandra. I wasn't sure about this one because I thought it might be a bit too light for me. But then Charlotte had written on her website that it looks amazing with a tan. No, now what happens is... They come with certain cases, but what you can do is you can get a set of two. So you pick one lipstick with a case and then a refill. Um, so the way to do it would be to grab one of the lipsticks. Of the, the, only, the only annoying thing is, is if you like the case, but you don't like the lipstick. Um, this one is, I'll show you them. I won't swatch you them. Here, how's that for a compromise? Yeah, now, 
you see, I'm not sure what that's going to look like on me, but she did say it looks amazing with a tan. So, Charlotte, I hope you weren't misleading me. Hopefully not. We'll try it later. So, that's Alessandra. Um, and then Karina Star. I, this was my favourite case. I must look at the case. And that's why I got the JK Rowling um, refill. Because they both came in the same case. But that was my favourite case. But I still haven't worked out how, how the refills work. So I'm going to figure that one out later. That's that one, Coral. You're going to like that one, Linda. Coral. Karina's star. So you've basically seen all of them, but I've got to leave something for later. Very nice, very nice lipstick cases. And actually, I do think they're worth the £3 extra. This one is called Karina Star. So Karina got Karina Lau got two lipsticks named after her. Karina's Love, which is the red one, and now Karina's Star, which is this this one. Coral one. And you know me and coral lipsticks. I love them. So I'm just looking to see what it says on here. Made in Italy. Fallen for, enriched with. Let me have a look at the. Um, let me have a look at the refill, and see if I can figure it out. The actual boxes are nice as well, because they've all got the design on them. They're pretty boxes, look, and you, they slide in. I know not everyone's into keeping boxes. And I don't actually for my lipsticks, but I might with these. Because they just look very pretty. So there's none of that having to keep opening the top and it getting all messed up. You've got to go and teach, but you look forward to my first impression. Karina, C-A-R-I-N-A. Karina's Star. Is that one, Linda? Now, this one has got one of the traditional boxes that you open. I'm just trying to work out how this refill system works. Mm, that's clever. Oh, at least you get a cap. You get a cap. So, because you need, you need to keep it fresh if you're going to buy one case and a refill. Sharon Sonnet. Who is it named after? Karina Lau. She, you know Karina's Love, the red lipstick, which I don't have. That lipstick was also named after Karina Lau, but she's, she's had two lipsticks. I'm just trying to figure out how this... ...goes into that. And does it actually say? Does it give instructions anywhere? Right, Matt. Oh, some of these are Matt Revolutions. Ah. Luminous Modern Mats. Now, that is a Matt Revolution, that one, Linda. But they're not all. Some of them are a kissing formula. Matt Revolution. It says on the side of the packet... You see, this is why I, I like to, my first impression will have, that's a kissing formula. So Angel Alessandra's, so some of them are matte, some of them are kissing formula. And I will give you all the details later on about which are which um, and do a little chart. 
um, what I was starting to develop yesterday was, um, you've never heard, I haven't heard of half the people that she's, this Alessandra, amazing, of course, I knew she was going to do a Mal Clooney, because they're good friends, but I'm just trying to figure out how you, it's not, it's not totally obvious to me how that you pull this and you see I don't want to break it so I'm going to have to figure this out gently later because that goes into there doesn't it but I don't know how so that bit doesn't push up you must have to pull this bit out or twist it and I have a feeling it's not going to be easy. Or is there a button or something? Is this a button? Or would that be too easy? No, that's not a button. I bet you it's really simple. And I can't figure it out. But you know, when you've got a brand new lipstick, you really don't want to break it. Right, I'm going to go online and I'm going to check it out. There must... She must, if she hasn't got instructions on how to interchange them, then that's naughty because that's the whole point of it, is that you can interchange them. Now, somebody, I think it was Shoshana said, I heard you can use these cases for all her lipsticks. And that's why I want to work out how this works because, to me, this lipstick doesn't look any different to her regular ones. So if you can change that then you should, in theory, be able to change any of her lipsticks and put it into this case. But I don't know how. There's probably instructions somewhere and I've missed them. So, this one is Amazing Amal. And I was in the middle of my look, wasn't I? And I'm now knee-deep in lipsticks. Shall I quickly brush up my brows? Also, I want to make sure I've got you some photos and in good light. And I might do some of it this afternoon. But um, I've got to go on to my mammogram. So I might not be able to get it out until tomorrow. I will try my best. Because one, I know you're waiting for it. And two, I'll get lots of views if I'm first to the post. Why, being honest about it. This one's Patsy Red, yes. Sorry, did I say Amazing Amal? I did, didn't I? I'm already getting confused. Yes, it was. You're right, it was Patsy Red. There is an or orangey red, but it, it looked a little bit more subtle. A subtle orangey red. Um. So... What's good about it is obviously once you've got the case that you like, you can then get a lipstick refill for £19, which is a lot cheaper. So you can actually fill out the, the case that you like. Um, and these are going to go, these are going to go on to my dressing table in my new home, all lined up together because I think they look very pretty. Really, really pretty. I love that one. And I like the red one as well. The Patsy one. Um, so it's a good job I got my birthday voucher, wasn't it? Very good job. Now, I was just brushing up my brows. Let me just do a bit of... A bit of brow filling in with my MAC Shape and Jade. I definitely need a bit of liner with this look. It's coming close so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just drawing in some lines. Actually, Linda, I'm going to put you out of your misery in a minute. As long as we haven't... Because I think that 
that coral one will go nicely with what I've done here. And I know you're desperate to see it. I'm not really mean. If, you know, if you show everything, then there's nothing left to show, is there? Look at my... This is me with all sorts of... Let me get a clean tissue. Makeup on it. Okay. Karina's star. Coming up. And this one is a matte revolution. Definitely need more than one swipe with these, but they do feel moisturising. But I keep feeling like I've got to keep going over it. But I don't mind because actually, hello there, Nekama22. I've forgotten your real name. bit of lip of um yeah a bit of lip gloss but nice it's a sort I, it's coral but it's got a bit more brown in it bit of a kind of brick brick orange Yeah, very, very good. So they're just saying it's nice because it's a natural coral. So if you've got something bright on your eyes, then um, it would work really well. So I think I've shown you actually all of them, haven't I? Patsy Red, I've shown you. I've shown you, I've shown you Amazing Amal and it's saying now, that I've got two minutes remaining. Um, glowing Jen, I will finish off my eyeliner and mascara and come back and do a finished look here and I'll also do a finished look on Instagram. And hopefully it'll let me save this. Um, I, did, I did this one, Karina's Star. I haven't tried Angel Alessandra and I haven't tried JK Magic. So, keep watching later on. And um, it is very nice. And the cases are wonderful. And hopefully, I will have worked out how to interchange the lipsticks without breaking them later. I just don't want to push really hard and it fling up in the air. And um, there's just nowhere, there's nowhere on here that says immediately, here is how to interchange your lipsticks. Hmm. I better have a look at a website. Anyway, thank you all for joining me. And um, I will be playing with all these this afternoon and finding out and letting you know which ones are matte, which lipsticks come with which cases, all of that, so that you get a really in-depth review. And if it's not out later on today, it'll be out tomorrow. Okay, please, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you, Linda. Um, oh, thank you. Come on, do it on YouTube so you get loads of subs because you're the first person. We've got 12 seconds. What are you going to say? Ah, you're leaving me in suspense. <laughs> Take care. Have a lovely day, everyone. Love you all. Mwah.
See you soon.